To stay with us, join us on the show now is the former Deputy Governor of Lagos, Dr. Idayat Adebuli. She's also the senatorial candidate for the All Progressives Congress APC. She will be discussing her track record in the education sector and how she ventured into politics. Welcome with us, <laughs> former Governor of Lagos State. I'm former Deputy Thank Governor. You. How are you doing, Mara? Good to have you on the show. Very well. Thank you for having me. And thank you also for all that you've been doing, trying to engage in also national issues and, of course, allowing Nigerians to hear their views. Well done. Thank you. For, thank Dr. Adibole, um, you used to be former deputy governor of the state and, um, and you were in charge of this um, education sector at the time. Could you give us a summary of your educational, of your po po political growth, how you got there in the first place? Because many people did not know you until... Until you became um, deputy governor, many many Lagosians, you know, did not know about you. Although they might have known, many, known you in the political class, but many outside did not know you. Tell, give us a summary of your political journey, but up to the point where you became deputy governor. Well, let me say that I started off in life as a teacher. That's all I wanted to be growing up. And I was uh, teaching at the Lagos State College of Primary Education, North Florida, when the opportunity to serve on the Lagos State Teaching Service Commission came. And then I was appointed as Commissioner 1 in the Teaching Service Commission. I tried my best, and that was for me when I became a part of the political structure in Lagos, because as a member of the Commission, you are expected to be part of the political setting in the state, being part of all of the activities and all of that, and that was the best for me. And for my people, probably my, that's what I would say, because they, maybe they are seated here, they will, be, they will be saying it emphatically that that again was the first exposure and that gave me the opportunity to move forward, to go into the political setting. But be, behind my back always has always been yeah. going back to the university. So when I finished serving as the secretary to the state government, I actually went back to the... And then when I finished as sec, I was, uh, the commissioner, then in teaching service commission, mm. actually went back into the university, though I changed from... Lagos State College of Primary Education Transfer and Service mm. to the Lagos State University. And I was in the curriculum department of the uh, Faculty of Education in Lagos State University mm. until my appointment as secretary to Lagos State College. So um, whenever we talk, we talk to women in politics, we always ask about the challenges of being a woman in politics. You know, the challenges of managing the expectation how has the campaign trail been? You know, <laughs> I am. I listen to. I listen. I see what goes on on social media, and I'm like, ha! Huh, how did a woman cope with this? What has the journey been in campaigning, and how have you focused on issues during your campaign? Well, one is for you to know what you are doing. Be focused. You are going to get all kind of distraction. But if you are focused and you are, I mean, you concentrate on what you are doing, you are going to weather the storm. And apart from that, if you are very open with the people. If, you are, if, you, are, if you, you are very open with them, you, I mean, you get them involved in what you are doing. Of course, you also have their yeah, cooperation. And apart from that, you should also and ensure that you are not in any way trying to change anybody. Mm. If you do that, the people will be very receptive. Mm. They, will, they, they will cooperate with you. And together, you form a team and you push forward. Why do you want to be a senator? Thank you very much. <laughs> and, well, let me say, being a senator is an opportunity for me again to serve my people. Uh, it has always been a pleasure serving the people of Lagos. Like I say, the people of Lagos are very warm. They are very accommodating. They are, I mean, once you are truthful with them, the, the people of Lagos will welcome you with open hands. And serving them is an opportunity for me to say, look, what has been going on, we can do it better. We can improve on what we have been doing. And I must tell you, I must acknowledge what the person right there in the Senate representing Lagos West is doing. He's doing marvelously well. But then there are, there are opportunities for us to improve on what we are doing, for us to add more to what is being done. And that is why I want to go to Senate. Again, it's also an opportunity for me to serve my people because the people of Lagos will want an opportunity where they will be part of the process not just you coming back to give them what you want to, to do, but engage them. Set mechanism in places such that you engage the people. The people will give you feedback. The people will tell you exactly what they want. It's not what you want that you want to give to them, but what they want. And that's what I intend to do by the grace of God. 
given the opportunity. Hmm. You know, a lot of people have said some people have taken the Senate as a retirement home. But it's good to hear that, you know, you're there because you really want to continue to serve the people. And I'd like to know for someone who is on the outside now or someone just watching you, think, you know, you have such a heavy track record, you know, work that you've done in politics. What would you advise someone who is coming into politics and is, you know, aiming for the skies? Like, where do I start from? Where, what do I need to put in place, character-wise as well as in credentials politically? Mm, very good question. First, I would advise that when you intend to come into politics, politics is not where you come and just they, they don't add value. You must have it at the back of your mind that I'm coming in to add values. You look at what they are doing, you look at what they are not doing, and of course, you make suggestions along that line. And apart from that, uh, it is, you, must, you must be well read if you are going to make impact because we have very educated people in politics now. So it's not a question of you say, oh, I, will, I just want to go there. And no, you won't, you won't succeed with that because uh, you have many women in particular who are very focused, who are willing to be part of. If you look at our numbers, in, for instance, in the present assembly, uh, we have just 21 women, mm -hmm. eight in Senate and 13 Terrible. in the House of Representatives. Of that is a number that we almost push to go forward because... Uh, when women are not adequately represented, you have issues where they cannot even fight for issues that has mm. to do with them. Look at the last, um, the last amendment, constitutional amendment that was done. Mm. Five of the gender bills were voted out. These are areas that women should look into and see how best we can do to make us to be part of what is going on. Are you going to push for it to come back? By the grace of God, I'm going to go, we are going to take a second look at those laws uh, those bills, rather, and see how we can push those bills back. Look at all the issues that are there. Look at what we have to remove, look at what we have to add to make it a bill that will be acceptable in the House and cooperate with all members right. and lobby with them to make them sure that right. we push those bills. Okay, okay so when it comes to um, Senate, <clears throat> even the House of Assembly generally, Ability to, you might come with your own ideas, but you, you one person cannot form a quorum. <laughs> and it's important to know how to relate with other people to push your agenda in a sort of way that they would buy into it and can help you make it work. Um, how would you rate yourself in terms of ability to work with other people, especially people from different parts of Nigeria, um, number one? And number two, what would be the, apart from the gender-based bill, because so that it won't seem like you're just a woman, woman, what would be a concern, a major concern in terms of bills that you would want to push when you get in, if you get in? Well, quite when a you lot. get in? Quite mm. a lot, particularly in the, in the education sector. Mm. We have issues that we would like to attend to. And as an educationist, I'd say, I mean, I have this passion to go there to, do, to, get, to get all of those bills right. For instance, the issue of childhood education, we are not where we should be today. Mm. These are areas that I want us to go in there and see, in fact, the entire value chain of the educational sector is what we will be looking at. We're going to do research into them and ensure that we we'll put forward credible legislative intervention that, that will help us to get to where we're going. So let's talk about your party. You know, your party is, um, is obviously is um, the flag bearer, Ashraj Balamitun, who is running for office, and many, especially Lagos, have rallied around him to support him. In your view, in your thoughts, what, do you, what chances do you think he has in, in becoming president? Well, by the grace of God, Ashwa Jubala Ahmed Sinubu is going to be the next president of this country. And I say it with all sense of responsibility. Um, if you look at it, Nigeria today needs a very knowledgeable leader, a fantastic leader, somebody who has understanding of good of governance, somebody who has verifiable track record, Something that you can see. And that is what we see in Ashwa Jibola Ahmed Tinubu. And that is why all of us in Lagos, and particularly in Nigeria, in APC, we put our support behind Ashwa And I pray to Almighty Allah, who has made it possible for him to go through the process of the, camp, of the primaries and get, I mean, and came out victorious. I pray that Almighty God, who has done that for him, to give him that victory by the grace of God in September the 25th. There is a school of thought that believes he's not, um, too old. Oh. Well, that is discriminating against him. He's in Nigeria. He has the ability 
to do the work. Mm. He's competent. He has all it takes. He's been, he's, been, he's, been, he's been a shining example for us in APC. And so for those who are discriminating against him, saying he's too old, I wish them well. But all I know is that Ashwaji Wala Ahmed Tinubu is going to be the next president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria come mm. February 25th, 2023. Okay, so... Yeah, uh, correct spokesperson. Uh, 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 can't you say peace on Ashwaji? Yes, yes, yes. He's for her party. <laughs> Um, I wanted to go back into women and politics because yes. you, 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 you've spent a lot of time within the political landscape. You've served in different ways. And some of us, we are looking at that politics and wondering, can a good woman go into politics? And I've, I've, I've listened, I've, we've, well, we've had the privilege of interviewing you before. I've read your profile. You come across like, okay, you're not a troublesome person, which means that it's not only troublesome people that are in, into <laughs> politics. But how can we get into it? How can you... What do you think, how can we get more women involved in the, in, in the political process so that when opportunities come, yes. they can get selected because they, they are already in the system? On Ashwebi and dancing. And, and yeah, not, not just the as stereo, number. The stereotype is really, really appalling. And how do we get women who have you know, um, content, who have competence to actually get involved? Well, as you can see in Lagos now, majority of members of the State Executive Council Majority of them are women, or yeah. a large number of them are women. That is a step in the right direction. And apart from that, if you are willing to be part of politics, you surely meet your kind of people in, poly, in, in APC, for instance. Mm. If you choose to go, I want to go and join this party, you will meet your kind of person, people who are not what you are talking about. People, but I must also tell you, those are the people that had... Uh, they also had value to what we are doing. Mm. Yes, by singing, by yes. doing all that. <laughs> yes, they had, yeah. yes, they had value to what we are doing. But we are saying that if you, if you have what it takes, if you, are, you must be determined to do the work. Right. You must be determined to be part of whatever it is that you are doing. Mm -hmm. And being a responsible woman, they, the party will not take anything away from you. All you when I mean the party will not take your goodness away from you. All you need to do yourself mm. is to be focused, is to be determined and, be, be, and continue to be responsible as always. Right. Yeah. You know, when I see women in politics and fighting this major fight, I always wonder if they would like their daughters, especially, mm. to toe the same path. Is this something you encourage your daughter to do? If politics as in politics, so. not appointments. The truth is, <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. The truth is, one never, if it's a choice, mm. I'm not going to ask her to stop, not to do mm. it. If it's her choice, but I'm not going to force her to do it. Let me even enter family. How, how, how has it been getting married, being in politics, your husband, your children, taking care of them? Have you always had issues with them appreciating or accepting your role in politics? Has it, been, has it ever conflicted somewhat with raising your children? Well, not, it's, it's tough, right? I must confess, it's tough. I must be honest. But the truth is that you have a very supporting husband, somebody who, who understands the fact that, look, uh, this is your calling, this is what you have choose to do. Well, we'll give you all the support that you, that you need. Uh, Locking, eh? Is your husband in politics? No, my husband is not in politics. He's a very quiet man like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I can't but observe that you lost a lot of weight. How, how much, I mean, what happened? Were you sick or something? Well, I choose to not go this way. I choose to lose yes, weight. Yes, because for me, you to be healthy, oh, I wow. need to do this. And I, and I, so and it was a choice, it was a choice to lose weight? It was my choice to lose oh, weight. Oh, fantastic. Hmm. How many kg did you lose? 30. Oh, wow. wow. Fantastic. Exactly. Exercise. That's a lot of discipline, whichever way. All of the keto, whatever, everything. Keto. Oh, nice. Are you eating keto? That's Madame keto. Keto. Uh -huh. <laughs> keto. Everything that will make me to oh, just wow. lose weight. So you're eating healthy, yeah. Because I'm having issue with my legs. Oh. And you feel and, better? Uh, yes, I feel better. So give me an idea, because Nigerians like to learn from you. Not, not just <laughs> give us an idea <laughs> of your daily all. meal. What do you eat in the morning, afternoon, eat, so that we can <laughs> take a cue from you? Every morning smoothie. Smoothie. For quite a long time. Time. Okay. okay. And then in the afternoon when I want to, I take salad in the afternoon. Okay. okay. And I try as much as possible to eat my dinner around six. I will start anytime from five. If I get home early enough, yes. around five. But if I get in home late, maybe around six. And if I adventure, I didn't even get home until late in the night. I will just take my tea and go to bed. Oh wow. I know this is a, it's a fantastic, but the importance of your health. Especially yeah. when you're doing something as serious as, as this, Elections you're campaigning, politics, you're yeah. up and down. You require health is important, and so you know. I was I wondering if there's any. I was wondering if, 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 because um, you mentioned education, 
things I was wondering if health is also one of the things that you're considering some of the For bills sure. that we're considering to push and who do you think already that is in the Senate and that you like to work closely with concerning this? Honestly, as to who I'm going to work closely with, mm. I will please plead that we understand that um, that's an issue I will come back to address. Yes. <laughs> However, all of the issues that will bring about positive development in the society is what I am committed to. Mm -hmm. All of the issues that will bring governance closer to my people is what I am committed to. Mm -hmm. And all that will make my people within Lagos West and the District to, to enjoy the best mm -hmm. is what I'm also committed to. So I, I will just allow you by the grace to pray for me, wish me well, <laughs> uh, that we get there by the grace of God. Then you will see the wonderful job we are going to do representing our agenda Fantastic. Mm. by the grace of God. Please, let's go back to this year of eating. Ah, it's true. Like, like smoothie, smoothie not a bellyful person. Mm -hmm. Yes, I so know. what do you put to make it If full? you eat smoothie in the morning, I mean you drink smoothie in the morning, that one, no, if I do that, headache will carry me. <laughs> See, lunchtime. Then you say at lunch you eat salad. Salad. Yes. That's even with worse. Chicken, with chicken. With chicken protein. With, 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 okay. but, do you, but do you yeah, snack on? Yeah, I, I snack on plantain cheese. My, my, my weak point. Do yeah. you snack at all? What do you snack I've on? I've stopped doing that. So you don't snack? Well, if at all I have to do it, I will get nuts. So I'll snack nuts. on nuts. Nuts, okay. All kinds of nuts. So oh. in the evening, what do you eat? Correct. <laughs> I'm allowed. You can't go to bed with correct, though. Mm. So ah, that's what you want. So you stop what you should eat the correct so in the afternoon and then eat salad. Let me show you. You stop amala. Eba. No, amala is even a bit. I, I sometimes I take amala with, uh, with fish. Okay. You know, sometimes in the bank. Yes, eba. Ah, no, eba is no go area. So if you want to lose Which ones don't you do, eba? You don't do semo. I don't do semo. I do have only amala. amala. And Rob sometimes I do. Um, um, have been swallowed. Yes. Have been swallowed. Yes. And yeah. then oats. oats. Make the oats in food like uh, you're making a bath. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 That's nice. Good to know. Mm. Yeah. How do you make oats like a bath? Like a bath. 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 Like Birthday, ah, birthday, my children's birthday. Hey, today is my children's birthday. My baby, 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 my baby,